so i'm doing this live from my page heal from irritable bowel syndrome naturally so basically i give ideas about healing from ibs naturally and i am the person who has always suffered from this disease from last uh 10 11 years and it started in year 2008 and after that i was severely affected by ibs till 2015 and 16 and then after i changed uh my approach and i somehow got a uh, mentor and then i uh, started doing some other practices as well as some medicines which are ayurvedic and that brought good level of uh, improvement in my health and after that 4 years i was on that and in year 2021 i have become more better and it has become around 90% to 85 to 90% heat in my body so i am able to live a better normal life right now earlier i was not able to but those suffering days i remember and that make makes me shiver but anyways everything happens for a reason so i was working on finding the solution for ibs i was trying to have details what can be done so that ibs can be healed naturally in body because most of times people try to eat medicines of suppressing acid of uh increasing the bacteria uh, good bacteria in our gut but that does not help in long terms it's because there is certain kind of uh, issues with which a person deals with some something some people think that it is related to stress some people think that it is related to diet some people think that it is related to mind and some people think that they are not really sure what is actually causing ibs even science shows that the colonoscopy report as normal for a person to qualify for ibs so in the six step approach this is the commitment level i was discussing it the step one is acceptance so in order to solve any problem and it could be even ibs first we need to gather the energy from the universe to have this uh, problem get resolved for us so in acceptance phase we gather that energy and that energy shifts start to happen in second phase we start moving that energy in that direction we want to provide that the direction to that energy the positive energy so that it keeps on moving in and taking us in right direction so that we can further have the health improvements in ibs so step 1 was acceptance step 2 is was is commitment now this is the stage where most of the people find it really difficult 90 to 95% of people fail in commitment phase and that's why they have unending cycle of sufferings in ibs they are not able to recover from it 20 years 30 years some even 40 years commitment is very important when we are dealing with a disease called ibs and it's difficult because uh, people need to come out of their comfort zone and come out of their current mindset beliefs and their uh, values and they need to adopt more universal principles to attain the real healing i think i see that most of the people are not ready to change they do not want they want they want to and they are suffering but they are not ready to understand what is really needed for that so commitment level 
helps you to shift your focus towards that energy now i will discuss how we can increase our commitment level there are certain practices like first is watching most motivational videos number second is listening to or reading good books number 3 is getting or finding a mentor now in ibs a person is so much suffering that Uh, he or she does not have the right energy to focus on the normal task because he is most uh, most of time spending time in toilet or maybe having attacks or maybe having blackout or maybe having very energy less feeling so how to deal with it but uh, the, uh, there is there is certainly a lean period during which ibs symptoms are little less so that period is where mind is generating free cycles and that should be utilized for making it to uh, see the videos which are really motivational Mo- motivational videos are like the videos which are made by the people who have suffered a lot who have seen very difficult things in life but still were the winners ted talk is one of the most motivational videos which talks about people their fears how they overcame it and I- even it can be spiritual uh, seeing the videos which are really spiritual kind of nature where they talk about the greater purpose of world greater purpose of life so these inspirational videos make shift our energy to right level so that our mind creates more and more free cycles so this is one way of achieving the commitment level uh, increase in commitment level second one is reading good books now when i say reading good books it's not like reading one book once a e- once in a year uh, it would be like a person who is really wanting to have the improvement level then he should read at least 3 to 4 books in a month and then only he is going to see the required level of changes in his energy so 3 to 4 books good books are required to be read in a month and this needs to be continued for at least 3 or 4 months then only a uh, energy shift will be more visible so that's why commitment level is tough but it's never impossible for a person who wants to improve from ibs so reading good books is really important and reading at least 3 to 4 books in a month is really important if a person is interested i can definitely provide him the good book names and they can start reading it from today number third is getting or finding a right mentor mentors in life are really important because they have themselves solved a problem and now they are ready to provide their insight for solving the problems to the world because these people have higher energy and that energy exchange to happen is very important because if we are exchanging energy with a person who is higher than energy than us then definitely we will start experiencing his energy so important is the choice of the mentor if you opt for a mentor who is really famous and very very busy then he won't be able to commit so much time to a person who is suffering from a particular disease like this is in this case it is ibs but if you commit to a person who is like who has himself or herself resolved a problem and now he is focusing on delivering the value to other people so that they can also live a happy and cheerful life then that person is very right now you need to search and you need to find such kind of mentors and i would say that rather look for a paid mentorship program because you know what money is a power money will make you also committed for spending the time with that mentor and mentor will be also committed to spend the value give exchange the value for that money so if you find you are having problems in giving commitment then find a mentor and find even a paid mentor 
I see that people spend their time in discussing their problems on group. But the people they are discussing either are at the same energy level or are even at the lower energy level. So this needs to be changed because you are not exchanging the energy with the right person. You, okay, you can listen it, you can understand it, but definitely you need to put in the more energy so that your the change which you are looking for is going, it it's can become re a reality. It's, it's not something I'm talking about here is a fancy. It's a uh, approach. It's a calculated, uh, I can say, path which needs to be used for having the real time effect of uh, of healing in IBS and it's completely natural people think that a pill is going to provide them the magic and that's it the thing is that the pill is going to make their body symptoms more worse in coming later years my dear friends think about the long-term gains you want to have the health health is wealth so focus on finding things which can be fixed naturally and IBS for sure can be fixed naturally because IBS says that I am coming normal in my colonoscopy, whatever. So it's a, it's a problem with certain kind of things which are not even shown by science. Please understand this. You need to work on finding your higher purpose and this, there is a definitely approach which can be used for healing IBS. Uh, so I would say that start putting your right efforts and right energy and have the acceptance for your IBS, have the acceptance for your current beliefs, have the acceptance for your current uh, medicine which you are taking and become a better version. Try something new. Find a mentor. Find a, a good book. Become in, uh, charge yourself. Get motivated and then the energy shift will automatically make you feel better. We can talk about the diet and the needed things in later stage, but first two stages, acceptance and commitment always come first. Because if you are gathering an energy and you want to bring that energy into motion, then that is possible via acceptance and via commitment. Third level we can focus is how to continue that energy, which is like diet via diet, via fitness, via mindset, and via spirituality. So this is what I wanted to say today, that there is a definite process of healing IBS naturally, and you don't need to fear from it. The, the, it's only that it takes time. So just be committed, accept your IBS. It's definitely going to make you a different person. Be assured you will be healed naturally. So this is me signing off. I, I pray for your speedy recovery. Get well soon. And we, we will keep connecting here on the live sessions. Take care.